Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Unigine Heaven running on a trio of Intel KB Lake based laptops. So we have the Core i3-7100U, the i5-7200U, and the i7-7500U. All three of these machines are identical laptops, uh, all manufactured by HP, um, same thermal solutions, same memory configuration, same hard drive, same screen, same chassis, everything identical except for the processor. And what we're looking at here is the performance difference between the i3, i5 and i7. Now one thing which is suboptimal, both of these laptops are only single channel memory. Uh, they have a single 8GB DIMM in them, which does reduce performance. Um, it is DDR4-2133, um, but as you only have one of them, performance memory bandwidth will be roughly half of a um, dual channel equipped laptop. We do have another video coming up shortly which looks at the difference in performance between single and dual channel memory with HD620 as well, um, so be sure to take a look at that. But anyway, we can see with this limitation here, uh, between the i3 and the i5 there's actually no difference in the average frame rates. Uh, both come in at 18.4 frames per second. And going up to the i7, we get a 7% increase in performance. Um, so 19.7 frames per second up. So it's only actually one and a bit frames per second, but because um, frame rates are relatively low anyway, uh, they that equates to a 7% increase. Um, that means you're not going to see a huge, you know, going from the i3 to the i7, you're unlikely to make uh, sort of a game that's unplayable on one will be playable on the other. The, really the limiting factor of performance across these is pretty much the HD 620 uh, graphics. This may this gap may rise a bit with um, dual channel memory configurations. Unfortunately I don't have systems I can spec with that currently for the i5 and the i7 but I have been able to do a comparison of that on the i3. Um, with this test as well, we are running it in DirectX 11 mode with the medium detail and moderate tessellation, uh, anti-aliasing disabled and running it at 1366 by 768. So anyway, if like I say, if you're comparing for sort of 3D performance, you shouldn't see much difference between the i3, i5 and i7 when using the integrated graphics. Um, I hope you found this useful. Be sure to check out our other video taking a look at the single and dual channel memory configuration comparison as well. Uh, and subscribe to see more from us in the future and let us know in the comments what else you'd like to see as well. Thanks for watching.